What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are going to be checking out the brand new Wet n Wild collection. This is the Gothographic collection from Wet n Wild. This is new for the spring and it is so cute. I know that you guys love to hear about the new new from Wet n Wild because it's such an affordable brand. I personally love Wet n Wild. It's one of my favorite brands from the drugstore and all this stuff is super affordable. So I'm super excited to test it out today. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like affordable makeup and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. The link will be right down below if you have not already ready and yeah without further ado let's get started alrighty so once we open up this box this is what the inside looks like so we actually have four different highlighters so we got a lot we have a loose highlighter a stick highlighter and then two of their classic like pan highlighters and then we have four different metallic liquid lipsticks three different metallic liners and four of their liquid catsuit metallic eye shadows and the cool thing about this box is you guys can actually buy this complete box I always get questions when I get like PR boxes like where you guys can get them and most times companies only send kind of boxes like this in PR to influencers, but you can't actually buy the whole box together if you want to. But with this one from One Wild, you can buy the complete box for $39, which is a really good deal because like one high-end product would be $39 and you're gonna get all this. It's $39.99 to be exact, so almost $40, but it says that it's a $70 value. So we are gonna go through and test everything and you can buy everything individually as well. So when I'm testing them individually, I'll let you guys know the individual prices if you're not interested in everything, but I just thought that was something cool to note. All right, so let's get started. So like I said, there are four different of their liquid catsuit eyeshadows. I have tried these, their liquid catsuit eyeshadows in the past. I actually just featured them in a video. Um, I haven't tried these shades, obviously, but I love this. I really like the formula of these. I think that they're great, so I'm excited. Um, I obviously can't use all of them. Like I already did like crease work and stuff. So I'm gonna use one of them all over my lid. I'll probably go in with this guy and then I'll swatch these other ones. So this one is in the shade Pure Intention. So let's check it out. And these are gonna retail for $4.99 each. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my eye. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, wow. This one is, these are more glittery, I feel like, than the other ones that I've tried. Like, these definitely have glitter to them, where some of the other ones that I've tried are just more of like a metallic finish. They're not necessarily like glittery, but I really like it. This is really pretty. These to me are a little bit more similar to like the Stila um, liquid eyeshadows that they have because as I said in my last video when I used these, that these were different than them because they weren't really sparkly and they were just more metallic. But these ones are definitely sparkly and I love it. Wow. Mm. And in the past, I have not experienced creasing with these, so hopefully these ones don't. Um, but anytime I've used them in the past, I have not experienced that. They do take a little bit longer to dry than like the Stila ones, for example. So I like to just kind of keep my eyes shut after I apply it for like maybe 30 seconds just to make sure that it dries and doesn't crease. Um, I always do try and do that. Then I will go in on my other eye as well. Wow, I'm really impressed with these. Like I like these better than the other ones that I've tried from them because everyone likes a little sparkle. You know, everyone needs a little sparkle in their life and these definitely amp the eye up so much. Very pretty and I didn't even have any lid color down like underneath I just had my concealer and setting um, powder on it But I didn't have any eyeshadow down at all. So these are definitely like really really pigmented Obviously, this is like a pale pinkish white kind of color, but it looks really really pretty I might try and layer one other color on top just so I can like try as many things as I can for you guys So there is like this pink color So maybe I'll try and layer this on top and see how they layer because I've never layered these before. I've only ever just used one at a time. So this pink one is in Mystical Dreamer. So let's try this guy too and we'll see how they layer up. This one is definitely a lot more pink. All right, so I'm just gonna go right on top. Get a little bit more. Oh, so it actually layers pretty nicely. It's not like pulling at the other color underneath, which is nice. And this actually isn't like super, super pink. It just kind of is adding like a pinky tint to the eyes so you guys can kind of see the difference in this eye and this eye this eye is a little bit more amped up because it does have more sparkle and a little bit more pink toned but i like that it's not like super crazy pink because i would never really use that on my lids but this with like the little pink tint i would definitely use you know what i mean and now i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the other two on my hand so we have goth tears we'll do first i'll go ahead and swatch that Ooh, that's really pretty like a purpley blue kind of duochrome. That's nice. I like that a lot. And then there's a deeper one is in the shade Nyctophilia, I think. So we'll go ahead and swatch this guy right next to that other one. This is the deepest shade. That's really pretty as well. 
Ooh, like for a purple smoky eye. Oh my God, if you like layered this on top, that is really, really pretty, like all over the lid for a purple smoky eye. I love that. All right, so these are completely dried now, just double checking to make sure we didn't have any creasing and we actually really didn't. Like these are really, really nice. I've always been impressed anytime I've tried these, especially since they're $4.99 for liquid eyeshadows. I really do think that they're great. Up next, we have the metallic liquid liners. These are gonna be retailing for $3.99 each and there are three different shades. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I'm not crazy when it comes to metallic liquid liners. Like I'm kind of like a black liner sort of girl and I never really venture outside of that, but it doesn't mean that I can't appreciate them. So we're gonna swatch these out. The first one is a white one and this is in Skull Prayer. And this one on the bottom does say that it's vegan as well in case that is something that is important to you. So we'll go ahead and swatch this one. Oh, it's actually pretty. Like for a white liner, it's pretty good. Like a lot of white liners don't really show up, but this definitely does, so that's nice. Again, I don't know how much I would necessarily use these to be completely honest, but I know people like them. Then the pink one is in the shade Pink Coffin. So we'll put that right next to that one. Ooh. It's actually pretty too. I just don't know that I would use that color as a liner. Like it's pretty like for my lips, you know what I mean? And I don't think I could use that color on my eyes today. I don't think it would show up. And then the last one is the purple one and this is in Black Butterfly. So let's go ahead and swatch this guy. This one is a little bit, eh. I mean, honestly the pink and the purple, I feel like they're like okay. The white one I think was the best. Um, liner as far as like streakiness goes like these ones are a little bit streaky um, Yeah, so I think the white one is the best not crazy about the pink or the purple They're not like bad because again, they're $3.99 um, But yeah, those are the swatches I think I'm gonna use the white one today because that's the one that I liked best and hopefully it'll show up at least a little bit on my eyelid All right, so let's go ahead and try this bad boy out on the eye uh, I mean you can see it but I feel like it would, you would see it more if I had like a matte eyeshadow or something, but like layered with all that glitter and stuff. It's not like crazy. I mean, you could see it. This is not, I'm not crazy about this, um, to be completely honest with you guys. Like so far the metallic shadows, amazing. I would highly recommend them. I don't know that I would tell you to like run out and go buy these. They're not bad, but they're not like, oh my God, amazing, you know? All right, now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go in with one of the highlighters and highlight the inner corner and my brow bone just because I'm limited on the amount of space I have on my face to swatch the highlighters for you guys and there are four of them. I'm gonna use this guy on my eyes. It looks really, really pretty. I love how there's like a little skull embossed in there. I hope you guys can see it. My lights aren't washing them out. But this guy's in the shade White Raven. It's gonna retail for $4.99. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little swatch with my finger as well. Ooh, oh wow. That's really, really pretty. Wow, and it feels really silky too. I like that. So I'm gonna go in and highlight the inner corner with that. I'm also gonna bring it right beneath my brow bone. Oh yeah, you can always really see the color on the brow bone. That is so, so pretty. I like that a lot. It has like a very pearlescent finish, but it's not like too much. Like it's still very, very wearable. So I could definitely see myself wearing it as a cheek highlight as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and mascara and then we'll finish out with the rest of the highlighters and the lipsticks. Alrighty, so moving right along, we have three more highlights to try out. So I'm trying to see like where I should put these so that I can use all of them. I think what I'm gonna do is use the loose highlight on one side of my cheeks, the powder down my nose, and this on the other side of my cheeks. I'm gonna look a little crazy, but I wanna make sure that I can use them all like on my skin to show you guys how they apply and stuff. So let's use the powder one first. This one is in the shade Moon Tears. It looks very pretty. And it's super cute, you guys can't really see because I got some of it out of there, but the little sifter is like a little skull, which is a cute little touch. I'm just gonna swirl my brush in here. Not many drugstore brands have loose highlights like this, so this is pretty cool. Oh my God! <gasps> wow! Oh my god, this is so pretty. Holy crap, and it's so pigmented too. Like, I didn't even need to use that much. Oh my lord. Wow, okay. So this is bomb. Like, so bomb. This reminds me of like an artist couture like highlight or something. Like, loose and just so beautiful and pigmented. Wow. You really don't need a lot of this stuff. Like, I definitely used too much on my brush, but this is stunning. Okay, Wet n Wild. How much is this? So this is only $6.99, like, this is great. And it says that you can use this on your body as well, so I would definitely do like the collarbones, maybe the shoulder, like in the summer, but this is so pretty, very impressed. I'm gonna blend it a little bit out, like just cause I have so much on there, like with a little buffer brush. But 
so so stunning then on this side I'll use the stick highlight so this one is in the shade hello darkness but it's like it looks super light so and that's funny that's like hello darkness but it's a highlighter um, so let's swatch it on the hand first Ooh, wow it actually kind of looks like very glossy that is pretty all right so I think I'll probably use my fingers to apply this to my cheek so just get some on there and then kind of tap 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 Oh, this is definitely pretty too, not as intense and like crazy pigmented as the other one, but this is definitely pretty. Um, I don't like it nearly as much as the loose highlight and I don't like like this color as much. I just always feel like these colors kind of look weird on my skin because they pull like that blue tone and then it gives you like that weird kind of shadow. Um, but I don't like dislike the formula of this, but I definitely like the other one better. <laughs> then I'm just gonna go over top of that with whatever loose powder was still on my brush. Ooh, wow. Wow, so they actually work really nicely together, like if you wanna really amp it up. That's pretty, like I could see myself putting that down first and then doing this highlight on top. Cause that is like, boom, crazy pigmented. And the stick highlight retails for $6.99 as well. And then the last highlighter is this pretty pink one. This is in the shade Purple Ashes. This is gonna retail for $4.99, like the other powder highlight feels the same. Ooh, and that looks really, really pretty too. So for this guy, I'm gonna look kinda crazy, but I'll bring her down my nose a little bit and just use a smidge. So I'm only using a little bit of this, but it is pretty, it is definitely more subtle. Um, but you can definitely see like when the light hits it that it does have that kind of like pink iridescent undertone But by far my favorite highlighter in this collection is the loose one. The loose one is like amazing But this one is actually really pretty as well like the more you layer it up I just don't want to put too much on my nose since it's such a different color than everything else And then last but certainly not least we have the liquid lippies So there are four different shades This is the same like liquid catsuit formula, but they're different shades for the collection and these are gonna be retailing for $4.99 So let's go ahead and try them. I'll do this dark one first because I know I'm gonna hate it um, I'll probably never wear this, but we'll try it. Uh, this is death to unicorns I just feel like this color liquid lipstick. I'm just not gonna vibe with it, but we will see Yeah, no, this is not gonna be a shade for me. This is actually not that pigmented, like it's pretty sheer. I guess maybe because this one is like such a dark color. Oh, there we go. When we build it up, it gets a little bit more pigmented. So that is like two coats. It's really not, it's not like super pigmented. I'm gonna go in with one more. Um, this is definitely a color you have to build up. It might be like that just because it is such a dark color. They don't wanna make it crazy pigmented, which I understand but not my fave. Next we'll do this silvery one. This is Gunmetal Heart. I'm gonna go ahead on. Oh, this one is more wearable. I still don't know that I would wear it, just to be completely honest with you guys. But it's more wearable than the really dark one. And this one almost pulls like a purpley um, tone, so it makes it a bit more. Wearable. So this is two coats of Gun Metal Heart. I know that these are supposed to be like more metallic, but I just, I felt like they would be more pigmented. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like these are leaving like more to be desired. Maybe it's just because I'm not vibing with the color of them either, like the first two. Um, so we will try out these last two. I'm thinking the pink one maybe I'll like. <laughs> Let's try the blue one. I'm going to save the pink one for last. The blue one is Pastel Grunge. We will go ahead and try this guy. Like, see, I feel like it goes on, like, I know it's supposed to be metallic, but I feel like it could be more, it could be more pigmented than this. And, like, with the applicator when I'm applying it, it's, like, wiping away the product. And I know that I've tried these before, and I liked them, like, the liquid catsuit liquid lipstick, so I'm kind of surprised. I don't know, maybe if I just got, like, a bad batch or something? But I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really loving these. Well, last but not least, let's try the pink one. Hopefully I like this one. This one is in the shade Wicked Pink. We'll go ahead and apply this guy. Yeah, see like this color is very pretty and I like the shade of it and I could see myself definitely wearing this, but it's still not crazy, crazy pigmented. So I'm kind of like disappointed in that. I feel like these are more so like lip toppers, if anything, but I just checked and it says that they are liquid lipsticks. They're not lip toppers. So I don't know. I see these more as lip toppers. I feel like if they would have marketed them as like metallic lip toppers, I would have liked them better. I just feel like on their own, they're not great. This one is definitely my favorite. And I can see myself wearing this if I just want like a neutral natural lip, but I still feel like it should be more pigmented, you know? 
Alright you guys, so that is it. Overall in this collection, I would say that highlights are bomb and the liquid eyeshadows are bomb. I would highly, highly recommend them to you guys, especially the loose highlight. I absolutely loved that. As far as the metallic liners and the metallic liquid lipsticks go, I wasn't crazy about them. They're not bad products. I just feel like I've tried better from Wet n Wild and from other brands in those categories. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on this collection. Let me know down below what you guys think. I would love to hear. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!